In today's video, I'm gonna share with you an awesome drill to improve your impact, start striking the ball first and improve your dynamic loft to gain a little bit more distance. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You join me, John Watts, today in my back garden. As I mentioned there in the intro, today's video is gonna be about improving impact. I'm gonna share with you a really simple drill that you can do at home or on the driving range, and then take that feeling to the golf course to improve your impact, make sure your hands are leading the golf club with an iron, de-lofting it correctly, gaining that little bit of distance, and really importantly, getting that ball turf strike that we really want to see. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you also hit the little bell icon, it notifies you every time a new video goes live. And the info for my social media, just coming along the bottom of the screen, well worth checking me out in there also. So today, let's jump into the, the drill. I'm gonna hit one doing it first and then talk you through what I'm trying to achieve. So instead of, I've got to hear a mid iron. This is a six iron that I'd normally play just forwards the center. I'm actually gonna play it way up where I'd play a driver. But I still wanna keep the club almost a little bit back here. So I don't wanna lean forwards towards the golf ball. I wanna keep the club where it would normally be. The ball is just more forwards in my stance towards my lead heel. So the club here is, because a good club head's width, maybe four inches behind the golf ball. I'm gonna just make a little quarter swing. Gonna keep it nice and short, no more than perhaps halfway back, because I want to be able to hold this finish position on the way through. Let me hit one. So what I'm trying to feel in the finish is that the club doesn't go too much past my hands. I'm trying to feel like my hands are higher and ahead of the golf club. Now, by making moving the ball forwards in my stance, it just makes it harder. And I like any exercise that makes it harder, that makes us work a little bit more into it. We wouldn't practice in other sports, you know, practicing our, our penalties in football with a big open net. In fact, we'd make it a lot harder. We'd only have perhaps the top corners, the bottom corners to score and we'd block out the rest of the net or put a couple of keepers in there. Golfers in practice tend to make it too easy. We stand on the driving range, it's 200 yards wide. We've got 90 golf balls and it doesn't really matter if you hit a bad one. So start to make practice a little bit tougher than the reality and that's a good way with this drill of moving that ball more forwards. I'm trying to at impact get my hands slightly leading the golf club so I'll be de-lofting it and that's going to help me promote that ball contact that I want. It's also going to help me shift my pressure towards my lead side. So what we want to get out of it at impact is hanging back, arms folded perhaps into this movement or starting to actually have the club pass my hands too early. So I'm trying to over exaggerate and feel in, I finish in this position, almost like a very held off punch movement with the club lower than my hands. So the ball's forwards, club back where it'd normally be, little quarter half swing. And in the finish position, the club head, it's probably about level with my hands, but I'm almost holding the angle rather than allowing it to release fully. Now, there will be more of that in a full golf swing course, there will, but we're trying to feel what it's like here. If we do those shots and we finish in this position, we don't really know what it was like through impact. And that's why I want you to try and hold the finish position where your hands are around hip height on the way through with the club not passing the hands. So we're trying to get that sensation. The hands are definitely leading the golf club. This is really gonna help you actually with bump and runs, chip and runs, that type of movement as well, and punch shots when you're trying to hit it low under the wind or low under the trees but it's really important to get that quality of contact. You'll have heard with those, I definitely got ball first. It sounded a very solid strike. So that ball forwards in stance, the club back, and I'm trying to get my hands slightly forwards into impact. Tour average with a mid iron is 11 degrees of shaft lean. So the hands are just a little bit forwards. They don't de-loft the club by 11 degrees because of how the shaft bends, but they're generally de-lofting it by about a club. So they're taking a six more into a five dynamically. What we see with a lot of amateurs is coming through with the same loft the club started with or adding loft and they lose distance, okay? So I, I get a lot where they're adding two, three clubs on to start with until we start working on it. And you can imagine the distance loss we're talking about there, a good 30 perhaps yards. So ball forwards, club back where it was, trying to get that 
sensation my hands are forwards. Don't worry if you're hitting a little push to the right of the target, but should feel a solid contact. Then go ahead and just hit some normal ones. If you move that ball back where you'd normally have it, it should feel easier. It should feel easier because you've done the hard practice. So then go to, after five technical, do five natural. Five technical, five natural. Really try and feel what impact is like, that my hands are slightly ahead into impact. You can even just feel what impact is going to be like by setup position, impact position. What are we really doing? We're having our hands a little bit more forwards. We're applying a little bit more pressure towards our lead foot and we're opening up our body. That's now impact. That was setup, that was impact. So I can get to that impact position and then just try and move through the golf ball. It's hard to work on impact without breaking it down because it's a result of three quarters of a second and whatever club head speed you can generate. So it's very hard to work on. Well worth monitoring, looking at on, on some high speed video, but doing some of these drills, some of these exercises are really gonna help. If this video has helped, as I said at the start, hit the thumbs up and do su consider subscribing to my channel. Cheers guys.